Okay, this is Vivian, and uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like you've built them out, but things are a bit misshapen or just lacking shape in general. Um, a lot of little issues. The face is looking a little crazy. Um, I'm just going to isolate that. Uh, I can see there's a lot of edge loops that are not terminated here. It looks like you added just a hell of a lot of, well, edges and a lot of uh, spots and like this weird cut here and uh, yeah it's just looking really mangled somehow let me check that there's just sometimes it opens up weird if you used a different version um, is this no it's still looking about the same. Uh, so I might start with uh, just kind of just to kind of spread things out a bit. I might go to surfaces, scope geometry tool option, and um, have the a, uh, a smooth operator on. Just hit flow. Okay. Before I do that, it looks like there's a bunch of verts that aren't merged. So I'll select all the vertices and do edit mesh, uh, merge options, and then point zero zero one, and uh, merge. And so hopefully anything right on top of each other is merged now. And then then I'll try that softening thing. Uh, sculpt geometry tool options, and then just flood so it just kind of softens the whole thing, just sort of spread out. Boy, there's a lot of... Um, weird edges here. Looks like that's just on that side. Let me take out that one. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. And what's going on here? Um, okay, yeah, I just took out that one. Uh, just trying to get the topology back to a decent place. And then, um, just uh, try to delete half the faces on this, but it might be hard because um, I'm just going to zoom in here just because everything's a bit misaligned. So I'm just using Control Shift to select now to add to that selection. Oh, I'm doing edges, not faces. Great. Shift just to add to selection. That's all the center line. Um, oh, we didn't. Uh, not these. This is all messed up here. So before I do that, I'll probably put this one back in. I'm not too worried about it continuing because I'm going to delete that half off anyways. But actually, yeah, this this one should continue going down. I'll just put something here for now and reconnect that up together. Um, just so we have a... Oh, actually, wait, which side am I deleting? I'm deleting this side. Yeah, so I do need to... Ooh, this got all crazy. Yikes. Um. Yeah, and there's some weird stuff going on with the lips and nose here, too. Maybe we can take out this one. 
shift right mouse click to lead edge okay and oh yeah look at that shift right mouse click to lead edge yeah you can't just add edit edges just anywhere um because it sort of messes up the topology of the thing but this one seems like it needs to continue And if I'm to fix the this, let's see, let's get rid of this. Shift right mouse click. Oops, shift right. Got this edge. Shift right mouse click to lead edge. Um, we will take out that one and just try to piece this back together here. There's some. Click delete edge. Oof. Connect that to that. Just try to get this back to a state of more being normal. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to try. I'm doing Control Shift X to uh, Control Shift um, Select to add to the selection. Oops, no, that control select that. So let's see. Back, let's add this. Oh, no, I guess this is all. Get rid of all that. But we want to add these. Oops. Shift right mouse click, polygon display, toggle back face calling so we can see the inside at the same time. Okay, I think that's a good half of that to delete. And this half is starting to be better. Oops. Let's take out this edge. Oh, I don't like that. It's not selecting the whole. Delete edge. Okay. Oh, and there's some extra birds here. Let's grab rid of that. Shift right mouse click delete. Oh, I didn't want to delete it. I hate when that happens. There's some face here, some extra face that needs to get rid of first. Then it'll let us delete that edge, that that vertex. I mean, I hope. <laughs> Shift right mouse click delete. Oh. Okay, let's put this back in. Multi cut tool. All right. Whew. Now let's select this center line edge, and but not the neck. Um, and then convert that selection to vertices. You can do select, convert selection to vertices or control F9. And those all need to be along the center. So make sure this little interface here is visible. You want to be on absolute transform. Make sure you're on the move tool. Oh, don't want these mouth ones here. Just control selecting those. Just double check my selection again. Okay. And move tool. And again, zero in the x direction, enter, and that gets those all lined up. And now I'll select the object, shift right mouse click, mirror options, and we want to make sure we turn off cut geometry, combine with the original merge border vertices, custom 0 0.001 mirror. And um, okay, so now at least the still don't like that. There's something very wrong here. We've got Two, three, four, five sided face there. Uh, and a real kind of star um, right there, which is just kind of makes for somewhat problematic. Just kind of uh, let me turn symmetry on. Is it working? It seems like it is. Okay. Trying to figure out how I can break this up, fix this area. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Maybe merge. 
merge these two to center. Um, I don't really love that, but whoops, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, trying to get it back to reasonable topology. Um, at least we got this going around again. Um, yeah, and just overall the head is a little kind of like wedge shaped here. It looks like you weren't really shaping it as you went, which is kind of hard to fix after the fact once you've added all this detail. The, the strategy is to kind of shape it while you have less detail and then, you know, then gradually add detail. But if you don't shape it while you have less detail, it's a lot harder to fix later on. Um, just trying to use, oh, this looks like a bit of an issue too, this, those are triangles for some reason, control shift X, and now I can get rid of these edges, shift right mouse click delete edge, okay, um, yeah, I just, I don't know how, I mean, I just need to do a heck, a heck of a lot of shaping of this head. Uh, B for soft select, and maybe hold down B, shrink that a bit, and push that in some, and um, yeah, at this point, there's not any kind of real easy quick fix because uh, I, like I said that um, you really want to be shaping it when there's less geometry and then add in the details sort of yeah and then the new detail is already kind of has the proper shape rather than having a misshapen head and having a lot of detail that you then need to sort of correct um, I don't know. Yeah, it just needs a lot of attention. Um, this collar looks big. This is weird. This it looks like you ex extruded this without um, uh, without moving or changing it. So I'm just going to grow the selection, delete that out, and then select this edge, um, actually let's turn off symmetry, select this edge, shift right mouse click, fill hole, okay, um, yeah, and this just looks like it could be rounded out a lot, again, it just, I can tell from the straight line that you didn't really shape this very well before you added a lot of detail, um, so yeah, I just generally you need to sculpt this more and work on a shape. I'll save this file for you um, in case it's helpful to you.